Hey everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic. We're here with a news update. Uh, this is the news update you've been waiting for probably for a long time if you're a subscriber to the Collect Jurassic channel. We're talking about one of the most anticipated releases ever probably in the history of Mattel's toy line. Um, it's a new legacy collection release as part of their, you know, Jurassic World assortment that sort of honors the first film's characters and dinosaurs and designs. Um, so you clicked on the thumbnail, you've read the title of the video, you know what this is about. We're talking about the Tyrannosaurus Rex escape set, part of the legacy collection set that includes, you guessed it, the Jurassic Park Ford Explorer tour vehicle. That is the main attraction here that tour vehicle has been requested from fans since mattel got the license since they did the excellent jeep uh wrangler um as part of their launch lineup and uh we're finally getting the explorer we wanted along with a couple other goodies that i will detail here in the video but yes that explorer is quite the looker and it looks like it's going to deliver totally but let's look at some of the other items in this Tyrannosaurus Rex escape pack. Uh, mainly the Tyrannosaurus Rex itself. You can see it here. It looks like it's an extreme chomping uh, repaint, which we've gotten quite a few of these. It's kind of Mattel's go-to T-Rex when it comes to these multi-packs because it um, doesn't have any electronic features. It's a little bit smaller than their other full-size Rexes, and it's got some nice articulation too, so I feel like it's just a, a good catch-all. And so paint-wise, this one looks a little bit different than some of the Rexes we've gotten before. It actually uh, sort of has a paint application reminiscent of the epic Roaring T-Rex that was around last year, if you remember. Um, so it doesn't really have the the coloration of the upcoming stomp and escape t-rex or the coloration of the battle damage the extreme battle damage t-rex that both share a very similar paint deco this is sort of something um almost like a callback to 2020 which is interesting but these are early pictures so maybe the t-rex figure itself will look a little bit different but yeah extreme chomp and repaint nothing too fancy here probably the least exciting part of this set honestly which is funny because it's called the tyrannosaurus rex escape set but i guess it makes sense you got to have a t-rex with the explorer um i personally wish they would have done something a little bit different with this paint application but um you know considering what we're, what we're getting overall in this set it's hard to complain too much. So that's the T-Rex. Um, you know, that's the, the main part of it. But the other items are what I really want to talk about. Of course, we have the, the vehicle itself, the Ford Explorer. Um, I mean, this is probably one of the bigger, again, like bigger things the whole collecting community has been waiting for. And now that it's here, I got to say, I it, it, it even blows away my expectations. And my expectations were pretty high already. I mean, we have the classic paint coloration there that green to yellow with the red stripes that's sort of essential to get that right so the fact that uh that's here and it hasn't been compromised or simplified in some way is is really really i mean just again just defies expectations we have those jurassic park logos that are accurate on the side of the vehicle um you know that reads jurassic and then park just like on the movie vehicles in the film have that yellow logo on the hood of course and then the uh the front grill with the little camera piece even um, underneath the grill that looks at the track so the vehicle can drive automated. We also have a little floodlight on the hood as well there on the right side of the vehicle. So there's a lot of little features here just on the outside that just totally nail it. Granted with this photo, we can't see the back of the vehicle, but it looks like it has some sort of um, tail light grill too, just like the film on top. We have the uh, floodlights on top and we have that clear uh, kind of observation glass sky, sky window on the top of the vehicle, which, um, you know, the, the old Kenner vehicle had that and it was nice. Um, but we've seen a couple, um, I've seen a couple of vehicles that sort of approach this a little bit differently, this this canopy, but I think they really nailed it here on this three and three quarter release vehicle. Got to mention the yellow hubcaps too. It's another signature element of this vehicle that appears to be intact. Also have 04 on the back, the vehicle number, and it looks like the interior has some seats and a steering wheel at the very least. So we'll be able to get some figures in there. And it does appear that the doors all open, every one of them. So really exciting stuff with this Explorer. Of course, um, almost as exciting as the Explorer, maybe more exciting for some of you out there is the Tim Murphy figure that we're getting with this set. Tim Murphy is an all new figure. 
for Mattel Jurassic, uh, and it's one that people have requested um, quite a bit. And this figure looks, again, very true to the movie. We can't see the face because, as you can see, he is um, wearing those heavy night vision goggles, of course, which is the perfect accessory. It looks like the sculpt here is pretty nice. Hard to tell from these low-resolution videos that we're zooming way, way into, but it does look pretty nice. Um, elsewhere, his outfit, he's got the handkerchief. He's got the shorts and the shirt. I mean, it's, it's definitely appreciatively more accurate than the Kenner Tim Murphy figure that we got all those years ago. This looks like um, this looks like it's going to be great, and we know that the other child figures they've done, Maisie and um, Darius from Camp Cretaceous, even though they're a little bit smaller than the other human figures, they're still really, really nice, um, even at the child size. So um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting Tim because, again, we, as far as the original film goes, we got Grant, we got uh, Malcolm, we got Ellie, we got Robert Muldoon, we got Hammond, um, and uh, and uh, we got another Nedry. So, I mean, they've really given us a lot of those core characters, but they haven't uh, really dove into Tim and Lex. And, um, you know, th arguably those are even more central to the film than some of those other accessory characters. So really excited to see Tim here. Would have been nice to get Lex as well. Hoping they squeeze her in at some point down the line. But uh, at least we're getting Tim here to re recreate this scene and not just, you know, another re-release of Alan Grant or something. So, um, you know, we all know we would have been happy even with that just to get the Vort Explorer if it meant coming with an Alan Grant figure. But uh, including an all-new figure in term, Tim Murphy is definitely going the extra mile. So here's hoping Lex comes down the line. But for now, we're we're definitely happy with uh with the Tim figure we're getting. So very good on Mattel for that. And that that really just kind of completes the set, the Rex, the Explorer, and Tim. These just look incredible. Uh, the retail on this is going to be anywhere from forty to fifty dollars, depending on your territory. Um, right now, it's on the Smiths website, which is overseas in the United Kingdom. Actually, pre-order it now for a June release. As far as here in the States, I think we have to wait at least another month or two before we get our release details here. But expect this one, of course, to be a Target exclusive in that it's Legacy Collection. Um, and, of course, here on Collect Jurassic, we'll definitely keep you updated with whatever details you need. But that's all I got for today. Again, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic, and thanks for watching.